hello good afternoon guys you are welcome once again to my channel you are welcome to car Twister solution academy yeah today is the 9th of uh, march 2023 and uh, today as you can be watching from this background this is going to be a very great uh, and educative uh, lectures and uh, i'm tagging this uh, lecture uh, procedures of selecting a very good blue stocks as we all know for hatchers breeders particularly this is the uh, bedrock of uh, having success in catfish uh, spawning that means if you want to hatch there are some factors that are key that if you make any mistake from that factors you are not going to get the right answers and this morning i'll be giving you some tips on those factors you need to know when you want to select a very good uh, blue stocks though a lot of people are selecting blue stocks and a lot of people have been doing it and most people that i know when they do it they eventually uh, come back to tell me uh, maybe uh, the tin turn white immediately they do the hash tree maybe uh, the fish started dying after one week particularly that is very rampant maybe when they do the hash tree the majority of the fishes are laying under the ponds and and not uh, uh, agile and uh, they are not active and they start dropping after three two three four days uh, these are the results and i uh, normally do have so because i'm uh, having this video now and today i told you once again i'm selecting some boosters for some of one of our clients that normally comes to get our blue stocks so today i'm doing the selecting for him again we are doing everything for him because uh, we are selecting the blue stocks after selecting the blue stock we help him to seduce them that means we inject them uh, we inject the blue stocks for him uh, so after the injecting he, that means the we have to observe the uh, latency period for him so he is just coming to pick it and he will have to do the spawning in the evening to make things very easy so maybe some people too do not know where when how to apply uh, your induced uh, hormone that means your induced spirit into them so with this we are helping uh, our clients to do that so doing that we but before we do that you need to select your blue stocks know your blue stock understand your blue stocks and give it the better blue stock that deserve and what you are just watching for the background is that we are working on a kg so we are working on a kg so it doesn't really matter how big the blue stocks are uh, it, because we are working on a kilo maybe we are working on i need just uh, 10 kilo so we need to work on 10 kilo we need to pick those book stocks that are gravid and ready to be used for 10 kg i hope you understand so seeing me putting them taking it out um calculating and working on a kg so that is what we are trying to do uh, yo lo, so let me uh, go on and uh, but this uh, particular fish is going to my main man the md of a uh, nation called fish farm at teju show he will be here with me you will see in the video coming to pick it in the afternoon mm -hmm. time so my g my great uh, boss will be here with me to pick his fish uh i think there's a video i did uh, with them in their farm at tell show in lagos which uh, i was there particularly to drop some seedlings and in here they have been patronizing getting the boost dogs learning on a daily basis which i so much encourage and they have been uh, a partner with me now for a very very long time for a very very long time so once again i will say i appreciate you uh, God will continue to bless you and as you are giving out 
the money for learning as we are giving out the money for continuity god will be increasing your pulse this is very very important so see me here is uh, uh, releasing the measurement of the induced liquid i'm using so i'm trying to do the inducement now for the fishes so that is what you are watching for the in the background so uh i said it once again uh and i will be giving you a brief lecture on factors to know when you are selecting a, a successful brood stock so things you need to check if you are getting most especially female brood stocks so let us go on what you need to check is one you have to check the agility of the fishes how active the fishes are this is very very important look at their barbell look at their vein look at their gills if there's nothing wrong with it check the body if the body is swollen or not this can be a sign of infection which can uh, be translated into the fryers since fryers does not have uh, that much body or, uh, or agility to with all the stress this will start killing them after a week or three days time so all this needs to be checked so after then we now go to the gravity of the fishes yeah for those of you who normally go to buy blue stocks and maybe you saw some blue stock that is uh, being put into a bath or into the pond yours is just to say okay give me this give me this because you see the gravity of the fishes and you just picked it and you go to me this is an error it is an error once again it is an error so what you need to check mm -hmm. is that you need to take your time in order to massage the belly of the fishes now watch out for those things the first thing you need to watch out for by the time you press the belly and the eggs are coming out watch out for the color of the egg if the uh, egg is white if you can see them maybe green white or you can see them golden white um, or you can see them brownish white or you can see them the greenish will be uh, will be light green not dark green and it will be whitish so this is telling you fine the fish is uh, matured is gravid but maybe the fish is just released his egg and is is trying to incubate uh, some other good eggs i mean the egg is not is still premature by the time you use this uh, kind of fishes i bet you you are still at the wrong thing so once again my my good friend is around and is here checking the fishes himself before picking it note that fish is being injected and it's very difficult sometimes to pick fish in the water so i need to uh, lay the water out of the uh, bath so that it can access the fish easily so that's what you are watching from the background and again another thing you need to look out for is that by the time you do the pressing and you notice a stain of blood coming out with the fishes Two things you need to watch if the fish if you press and the first thing you see is fish is egg this tells you the fish is still okay you can still use it you have the chances of 80 to 20 percent and later the second time you press you started noticing some uh, blood stain you can still use but once you press and you notice that the blood that comes out first not egg some little eggs just follow it i bet you just keep it for some time don't use it yet note all this i'm telling you the fishes may be well loaded because there are different kind of a species of loading fish uh, loaded bootstock some bootstocks has the agility of uh, loading so that is why you can see our mommy some of them when they are pregnant their belly will be small by the time you look at them you see how many months nine months why nine months like three months but some if they tell you it's three months it looks like 12 months so that is how fishes to her there are some that add the agility to carry pregnancy so once you have those kind of fishes that are well loaded and you tested them and it's still giving you doubt it is better to use the one that is not loaded than using them to me it's better to use a very good egg 
of just uh, 100 grams than using x of 2 kg to produce what that 100 grams will give you will propose what that 2 kg will give you i bet you because if you have a very good production for just 100 grams of fishes what will come out of that 100 grams you may not be able to nurse them that is the truth and you can give them space and maintain and manage them you'll be surprised what you are having because of this time i think the time is going on this video i may not be able to complete uh, this video to tell you more and more what you can experience when you do the hatchery and to tell you uh, the reason why some of the things you are having in your ashtray may occur so because of the time so let me just see maybe i can just give you one tip more yeah the tips i'll be giving you is that when you eventually press the hex to as well and uh, you notice that the hex just pump out from the and you look at the coloration and you think that the color is brown is dark green and it's golden color i think that's the best fish you need to go out for to pick for your client or to do the ashram so by the time you use this kind of egg to hatch i bet you you are going to experience a massive uh, production and it's time for you now to manage those uh, production so from this time i'll be saying a very good thank you to you my great uh, man md cole thank you